Hi guys, this is Podge again. Uh, here's my uh, quail eggs that I just got in. I'm about to set them out for 24 hours before I throw them in uh, my Maticoop incubator. And we'll see how many eggs it fits in that uh, incubator. All right, we're gonna see how well this is packaged. It's looking like it's packaged pretty good. You know, we got these eggs from Florida, so it looks like it's well packed with foam, foam on the top and everything. It's packaged pretty well. Um, eggs look nice and intact and everything. Packaged really well. It's supposed to be 110 eggs, 110 plus eggs. So I'm going to slowly just take this out to be on the safe side. So it's actually packaged really well in between everything. So I got to set this for 24 hours before I throw it in the incubator. Okay. There's a second. Quite a bit of eggs. Packaged pretty well. Great packaging. Great packaging. Padded on the bottom too, so really good protection and everything. So eggs look good. I'm gonna let it sit for 24 hours and uh, I'll throw them in the incubator tomorrow. But it looks good. Uh, it's a bunch of different assorted uh, quail eggs. All right, here's my uh, Manicoop incubators. I'm gonna see how many uh, one of these fits. One of my batches, I had 60 eggs, and if it's 60 eggs, with still room. So I'm gonna see how many eggs uh, it fits, it depending on the size of the eggs and everything. So I'm gonna plug everything up, get them ready to load up the eggs. Plug in the power. Okay. Plug in the automatic egg turner. Okay. I'm gonna plug the second one in, just in case. Plug in the power, then the automatic egg turner. Power's on, reading 98.5 Fahrenheit, 22% humidity, and I'm gonna pour water in there. This is the first one. This is the second one, and it's reading 99.5, 20% humidity. I'm gonna take out the egg turner and get it ready. Take this off. Hold that. Take out the automatic egg turners. Back down. Here's where you put the water. And uh, this is one. One here only goes to this small section. And when I add in one, it's about 40 to 45 to 50. Uh, uh, percent humidity so I only run pour water in slot number one when I go to lockdown I put water in one and two to bring up the humidity to 60 65 percent 70 percent humidity so I'll add water in both but I won't fill two up full one will be full but two won't be up full I'll just add some and I keep checking uh, the humidity So we're gonna pour water in and load it up. Close it. I'm gonna pour water in. Okay, now I'm gonna add water. So it's not number one. Okay. And then when you have the automatic turn, it's kind of hard to see the line when it fills up. So I like you can either get a flashlight 
or I like to see in the corner so you can see because the automatic intern egg turner is in the way so what I use I just use my Inco bright candler because it's uh basically a flashlight you know bright flashlight and I use this to candle my eggs and I use this as a flashlight to able to see the corner when I'm pouring the water in there it's easier if you're using a water bottle to pour the water in and you just watch the towards the top when it fills you just watch it you just slowly pour I like to number my quail eggs as it just it's just a personal preference for me I like to number so I know which ones will hatch and which ones are fertile after 10 days and which ones are not fertile and to see what hatches at 18 days and what will hatch after 18 days and what will not hatch so I like to number all my eggs Okay, with all the numbering and kenneling my eggs, I found 12 that was cracked already prior to going as an incubator. I'm going to use some candle wax and throw it in the incubator and see if uh, um, if they grow. You know, after 10 days, I'll check to see if uh, there's webbing or anything or they're just no good or they're just dead. So, I'm keeping those separate. These are the cracked ones. I'm keeping them separate. As you can see, I already took them all out. It's all numbered. That's why I like to number my eggs for that reason. Because of the first couple batches I had in and do all that. And, you know, crack eggs and all that. And when they crack and explode in the incubator, oh, it's not nice. I had that happen. So now I'm going to load them up into the automatic egg turner. How I load these up is I do it corner to corner so as I'm putting it in here I don't know if you can see I'm gonna put a corner to corner so I'm gonna put this corner corner so as I grab it here I'll put them in corner the pointy side down So that's how I do it so I can uh, maximize my egg count in an automatic turn. So I'm having it here corner to corner and it depending on the size of the egg. As you can see. I'm doing it so you can see how I'm loading my eggs up. I don't raise chickens, so I don't know how many eggs. It says 30 eggs, but I don't raise chickens, so I'm raising quail. Because when you do it this way, it just keeps the eggs in check. And my last egg. Okay, now it fits in there. So, how many eggs? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 eggs. This one I'm able to fit 17 eggs. This one. So, this one's ready to go.
and yeah, still got plenty of room to spare. So those eggs, I'm gonna put them on a, its own uh, automatic turner. So with these ones here, I like to run a paper clip here. I'm gonna move this here, have it kinda tilt the crack eggs. Or the crack eggs, I'm gonna have to uh, kinda wax them first before I put them in. Okay, here's the eggs that I use uh, candle wax. All the crack eggs, 12 of them. So, I'm gonna test them out and uh, hopefully uh, we can get them uh, all done. So I'm gonna keep them separate from the other eggs. So now, the eggs are in place and when they rotate, it's in check. And then you just gotta make sure this doesn't catch. But I usually put it in so I know that it doesn't catch. So now I'm ready to throw all these in the incubators. I'm gonna remove the cover and load up the eggs. The automatic turn to the automatic turn. I'm gonna put that there. I'll move the other one. Testing to make sure the egg turn works. Okay, rotates. done and set we'll check back in 10 days set to 18 days now I'm going to change my vents to half on both those 